Hello, welcome to my channel, Sophia Studios. I have a new video for you. It's a tutorial on how to draw Totoro, so our friendly neighborhood sprite. Growing up, Totoro is definitely one of my favorite films. I think I say that about almost every Studio Ghibli one, but for real, it's just such a beautiful fantasy universe. So we're starting Totoro with his sort of long oval-shaped body. It's a little squashed at the bottom, so yeah, I made it a little more of a straighter line to show that. And his ears are two pointy triangles. And then we go with the little leaf hat here, and you can make that any shape you want. But I sort of went with what the reference photo showed, and then make sure to put the little stem on top. I think that part is really cute, makes him look like a giant pumpkin. Now Totoro's eyes are equidistant from each other on his face, and they're and those are just some squashed little ovals with pupils inside. And I sort of drew that guiding line just to make sure that they were on the same sort of level here. Because sometimes when I look away from my drawings, I see that my the eyes would be like two inches in the different directions. And it just doesn't look great. So I, that's why I draw those guiding lines. It also helps you place the nose right on top of that guiding line. The nose is just a squashed triangle. And then we have the little smile and three whiskers on each side of Totoro's little face. Now I'm just going ahead and drawing like a nice circle inside of Totoro's body and making some fur marks. So not doing a perfect circle, but making it sort of jagged at the edges so it looks like he's very fluffy. Now I'm putting in some of the toenails that Totoro has and adding some more of those fluffy fluffy fur marks on the outside just to make him look as, as fat as he is. <laughs> He's like a fat horse, right? Chunky. <laughs> Alright, and now we're going in with some pen here. And this is a waterproof pen just in case when we go to color it in the marker doesn't bleed everywhere and the pen won't bleed either um, and i'm just going around those outlines and making them clean and in in studio ghibli movies they tend to use a pretty thin pen to do the outlines or it's a very thin line so i tried to find the smallest pen that i had for this um, just so that the lines were really thin Just go along and outline your little Totoro. I always love this I always love this step because it starts to really turn it into that cartoon version and it's so bold now you could see all these lines well. And you get to finalize your lines so it feels well, it feels more final. You just get to see it. All the little pieces come together. Now we just go out and erase all the pencil. I would love to be one of those artists who just start drawing straight with pen and it looks perfect. Um, but I also just, I love sketching too, so I should upside and downside to everything. All right, now I'm going in with this cool gray and just shading in Totoro's ovaly body. <laughs> Overly, I'm um, just shading in Totoro's body here. Now, what are your guys' favorite scenes from My Neighbor Totoro? Let me know in the comments. I love talking to my friends about this movie. I'm in a film f fraternity. All we do is basically talk about movies and <laughs> make movies too. Um, but it's always fun to talk to people about Studio Ghibli films because there are so many ways of interpreting what happens in the films, and I think it's some things are left so vague that it is up to the audience of like how they would interpret certain scenes or emotions or characters and like how they relate to different characters. And I really like that. There's a lot to the imagination in, in these films, which is really different from a lot of the stuff that I'm used to seeing. 
So it's always fun, you know, go ask your friends what their favorite parts of the movie are. Sometimes you might have different interpretations of like entire scenes, so. Add in his little arrow fur barking patterns here. And there's about four on the top layer, and then he has some directly underneath. And then again, I do that guiding line just to sort of make sure things are on the same plane and, and make sure they sort of look as symmetrical as I can. Um, and now we've just gone over that with pen too. But I started this channel to help people learn how to draw, but also just to have a space to talk. I'm filming this now in quarantine. I'm back home from UC Berkeley, and I don't live on campus anymore. So basically all my friends are back in Berkeley, but I'm in Los Angeles, so it's nice to just talk, I guess. <laughs> Which sounds really sad now that I'm saying it out loud, but it's funny, okay. So here is our finished Totoro. It's looking good if I do say so myself. So thank you for watching and please subscribe if you want to see more content. I'm putting out new stuff every single week and if you have any suggestions for what you want to see, please let me know because I will, I will do any suggestions. Alright, stay sweet and let's draw next time.